Now it's time to start the I6 block. This is an applique block. So I have one big piece for my I6 block background that I just base the edges around of my fabric. And then I have all of these individual pieces for applique. My arrows translate into the arrows that I have on my fabric over here just so that I make sure that my directional fabric is going in the right direction because I have a stripe on these and my stripe is going to be radiating out from the middle. So these little football pieces I'm going to have gathering stitches basting on both ends and then tack that down. These I'm going to baste, I'm going to baste these two sides and then these two sides. These I'm going to have to make a notch so it will sit correctly and just be careful. I'll just have to be careful not to undercut it so that I don't get any um, edge or fraying when I go to stitch this together. But this is where my, my applique edge is going to be. Um, I'm most likely, but I'll see how this goes, most likely going to assemble these four together and then applique this on and then applique these on separately. So I've got my square basted and I've got my kind of sort of heart pieces basted and I've got my little footballs gathering stitch basted. So I'm going to put these together. I'm going to stitch these together. So these I have already taped. So I'm going to stitch these together. I'm going to, I'm going to tape this a little better and then stitch these together and put these together into one unit. And then I also have to find the middles of each side, make my little light plus sign with my line and then make an X so I can have marks so I can put placement for all of these pieces. So I've taken my block and I have made very faint marks in a plus sign configuration and an X configuration so I have things to work from for placement. And I've gotten my middle piece all assembled so I've and um, I know that my stitches are the flat back because they hide really well and I'm actually kind of surprised to be honest with you that the thread is hiding so well. Anywho, um, so I'm going to line up my seams. I'm going to line up this this seam with this pencil line and then move it down so that seam can be with that pencil line and that and so on and so forth. So you've got a pencil line for every notch here. So that way you know that this is centered. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lay this out and I'm gonna staple it down. So I got my pieces or I got my center star thing stapled onto my main block, and then I'm gonna take my little footballs, and those are gonna go in line with one point right here on the edge and the other point on the line, on my pencil line. So my pencil line is very faint and it's right there. So I'm gonna place those and staple those as well. And then I can stitch everything all at one time. So I've stapled on my little football units. And so now I'm gonna be able to go all around each one of these in one shot so that I can maximize my threads. And so as I get to these points, I will tuck under my edges, but I'm glad that I don't have to tuck any of these edges on the center star section. So I will get going with my applique stitching. So I finished all my applique around the edge of my star middle and all my little footballs. I've removed my staples very carefully and I've removed my basting and I now have a completed I6 block.